Today I'm reviewing a beer from Portland, Maine, Gritty McDuff, the Gritty McDuff Brewery out of Portland, Maine, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, their flagship ale, one that's been around almost as long as the uh, new craft beer revival has been around. Started being brewed in the pub in Portland in 1988, so I'm reviewing their original pub style pale ale. The original pub style pale ale from Gritty McDuff comes in at an ABV of 4.5%. I've had this one plenty of times before. Um, usually I buy it by the six pack, but I decide for this review I buy the larger container. Now I got some really weird kind of opener here. I think that comes from the Kona Brewing Company. Looks like a salamander or something. I just thought it'd be pretty cool. If I can figure out how to open my beer, I will do that. Give me a second to try to figure out this uh, bottle cap. Oh, my goodness. And there it is. Okay. Like I said, strange bottle cap opener. Okay, I'm going to pour this into a glass that I usually just kind of drink a lot of beers in just because I kind of like it. It's my NASA glass. It doesn't represent any particular brewery. I like to use uh, glasses that represent a brewery, but in this case, my NASA glass. So, give it a pour. I got this in Florida uh, some time ago. It's one of my favorite drinking glasses because of the cool design, quite frankly. And the pour is into the glass. And I'm getting a good, uh, it's almost a slightly cloudy sort of uh, feel to it. Uh, a lot of carbonation. The color is uh, a really kind of orange a copper color. Sort of a, a light copper color. And again, as I said, kind of cloudy and very carbonated. Let's give it a whiff. Well, right off the bat, I get a, a good hoppy sensation. It's pretty uh, prevalent here. You know, it's got, um, it's got a fruity sort of thing going on here as well. Fruity and hops. And maybe just a little bit of that caramel malt in the background. But mainly the hop is what you're getting, which is kind of typical for an American pale ale. You know, it's defined a lot by its hop character. So, let's give it a taste. Um, refreshing as all get out. Still, though... It's got this kind of uh, um, kind of weird sort of taste to it at the same time. Not sour, not tart. Yeah, there's a bit of hop going on here and a bit of malts, but there's this kind of other sort of um, weird, uh, sort of overripe fruit uh, sensation going on. It's um, definitely a little different from most pale ales, which I think is what makes it distinctive and probably why it's been so successful here in New England for really more over 20 years. But I'd say the overall story is subtle. You know, it's got a nice uh, variety of character going on, particularly enhanced by the hops, but not hoppy to the point of an IPA, but there's definitely a, a nice hoppy sensation going on. Mm. And a kind of a sugary, but it's definitely not sweet. It's it's got this kind of uh, sugar, sort of uh, sort of like the sugar in the raw type flavor, or something like that. Uh, it's just a little different, uh, one that's not easy to define for me. And I'd say it kind of ends with a slightly fruity aftertaste. Mm. But it's a. Uh, it's, it's really got its own kind of characteristic, and the hops seem more the uh, predominant item, and the caramel sweetness seems to be almost in the background. But it's fairly well balanced. Mm. It's not a bad beer. As I said, I've had this one many times. I think I've even had it at the brew pub itself. And it's one that's readily available around New England and in many other parts of the country. And that is Gritty McDuff's Pub Style Ale from Portland, Maine. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.